Recently, my friends over at Carnival invited me to take a cruise to the Caribbean. The plan, visit three islands in three days and have some fun on the ship in between. So how could I say no to that? It was my first time on a cruise and as you can imagine, I was pretty anxious and excited about this brand new adventure. I had an amazing trip and made lots of memories. Here's part one of my adventure on board the Carnival Breeze. Just because I'm on vacation, y'all know I am still gonna stay as close to my plan as possible. So I'm gonna take advantage of the spa right here and get in a nice workout before the day's activities. Exercising and lifting weights on a cruise ship was definitely a first. Besides looking out and seeing a vast blue sea, it was pretty much like lifting weights at my regular gym back home. And I outdid myself this trip because I foam rolled after each workout session. And even though foam rolling can be pretty challenging, it definitely helped to loosen me up for each day's activities on board the ship. All right, y'all, we are here on the cruise day one, and guess who I just ran into? Cezanne, a fellow vlogger, and she's here too, like with her husband. And yeah. I just heard we are gonna compete in the mixology contest. It's going down. It's going, it's going down. Wait a minute, you're a beauty vlogger. What do you know about mixing drinks? Do y'all even drink? Honestly, it just has to look cute. <laughs> Alright y'all, just finished up at the mixology contest. Good game, Cezanne. Good game, you know. Your drink was pretty good. We, was... we both lost, yeah, but both lost. we had some amazing dance moves and we got to <laughs> leave with know. our drinks. Hey, you know what? I learned something new that beauty bloggers can actually shake it. They got a little twerk <gasps> in them. Oh, please. I, I could... Hey, you had some moves out there. Hey. Next, it was off to meet with the chef de cuisine, the other very important person behind the captain. All right, y'all, so I am outside of Blush Restaurant, one of the two main restaurants here on the Carnival Breeze, and I'm here with Chef Santos. Hi, pleasure meeting you. How you doing? So, Hi. Chef, this ship is massive. There are like yes. 3,000 people here. How do you keep them all fed? How do you keep everyone happy? Because food is an integral part of the Carnival um, yes. experience. Yes, when it comes to cruising, it's all about um, the best food, best food and uh, service. And, um, well, we have been managing uh, managing it very well with feeding um, almost 4,700 guests and 1,000 wow. 1,400 crew. Uh -huh. It's about um, it's it's like 20,000 meals a day. What we uh, what we dish out Jeez. every day. The kitchen looked like a massive soccer field. Over 20,000 meals a day, and the ability to customize meals based off dietary and medical needs. It's pretty remarkable. Heading to a cooking demo right now, a tasting over at the Fahrenheit uh, Steakhouse. It's at the aft, which is the back of the ship. So I think we're here right now. One of the best things about being on the cruise ship is the variety of cuisines available to guests. The chefs take inspiration for meals from all parts of the globe. And to add to the richness of the experience, they create these fusion dishes based off where the ship is traveling. So on my trip, many of the dishes were Caribbean inspired, which is perfect for me because I love Caribbean food. Well, I love food in general. It is nighttime once again here on the Carnival Breeze ship. And if you've been following me long enough, then you know there is nothing more that I love than some sushi. So I cannot leave the ship without checking out Banzai Sushi. Let's go. It's almost like having a burger on the outside. The burger meat is on the outside. This is a small bun. It's very sweet. Savory. It's got a nice butter taste to it as well. I loved how the chefs used fruits like mango and raspberries and even spices like curry to create some of the sweetest sushi rolls I've ever had. Mm. 
Here we go. Common trend here. I love the way that they're bringing the, you know, the Caribbean flavors and fusing it with the sushi. So the very moment that I got on this ship, I saw this ropes course and I knew that I had to do it. Because, first off, it's a great way to stay in shape while being on the ship, but also, y'all know I've got that secret goal to become an American Ninja Warrior, so this is perfect. Watch me go and do it. Ooh! He said it was 25 is the fastest time, but you're saying it's 22 seconds now. He hasn't seen it keeps, that. It keeps changing. Are you getting scared? I'm gonna crush that time. I would love to see you do that. <laughs> okay, I swear the course looked much easier from the ground, and I guess my balance isn't quite where I thought it was. <laughs> Needless to say, I didn't break the course record, but we all had a pretty good laugh, and I got an extra workout in for the day, so it was a win. On board the ship, there's always something to do. It's like a vacation all by itself. A vacation that's made even better when you can experience it with friends. The friends you bring with you, and the friends you meet on the ship. I've made so many memories without even stepping foot on land.